In this short introduction to soundproofing, we're going to go through the three core elements that make a soundproofing partition particularly effective. The first one is decoupling, the second one is to add mass, and the third is absorption. So let's have a look at how each of these elements work, and then I'll show you how we implement them onto a stud wall. The first one is decoupling. Out of all three elements, this is perhaps the most technical, but the idea behind it is relatively simple. Instead of having your wall soundproofing materials joined directly together, we pull them apart and create a physical separation. This is very important because sound vibrations can travel far more easily between materials if they are joined together. As soon as we separate them, the sound vibration has to travel through material A, over this new air gap, and then into material B. It's a really great way to block noise. The second element is to add mass. We add mass because this will reflect airborne noises, which are things like talking, music and TV, and these are common disturbances from noisy neighbours. Adding high mass materials means that a sound wave hasn't got enough energy to pass through the material and instead is reflected back off. Using materials of high mass will insulate your room against sound getting in and also against sound getting out. It's best to use several different materials of high mass if you're able to, as each material will have a different resonant frequency, which in layman's terms just means a natural slight weakness. We'll show you something on the screen now, but when we layer up different materials of high mass, you can see that this slight dip is evened out and you'll get a better overall soundproofing result. The third core element of soundproofing is absorption. Now, absorption by itself is not actually soundproofing, but we do need to use it within a soundproofing system because it controls one important characteristic of sound, which is reverberation. Reverberation is when sound enters a space and then bounces from surface to surface, it's an echo. And this can actually happen inside your wall, and particularly inside stud walls where we have a lot of open cavity spaces. This is known as the drum effect, you might have come across it before. It's really important to control the drum effect and reduce the reverberation happening, because if we don't, the original noise will actually be amplified. So now that we know what the three core elements of soundproofing are, let's take a look at how we can do this on a wall. Here we have an example stud wall, and it could be brick as well for this system. Onto your wall, stud or brick, we can add mute clips. Mute clips are isolation clips, and these decouple your original wall from the new soundproofing panels that you're going to add. It creates, as you can see, a physical gap, and it's the best soundproofing you can get for the space used. Onto the channel, which of course is hovered away from your original wall, we can add layers of mass. And here we have three different layers of mass, which is going to give you a great insulation from the original sound. Now, let's not forget the cavity space and the drum effect. So what we can do for that is install acoustic mineral wool into your cavity. This can also be done on a brick wall because we will have extra space behind the mute clip into which we can put 25mm acoustic grade mineral wool. These three core elements together are going to give you the best level of soundproofing possible. That's why here at iQustic, even our bronze level systems use decoupling, mass and absorption. If you want to find out more about how to soundproof your wall, floor or ceiling, head over to iQustic.co.uk or give us a call and we'll be happy to help.